Our... Yep. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Monday night. We uh, we skipped a week last week. Yep, we did. We had a week off. We Yeah, you know. We enjoyed it. We did. We took a little trip. Yeah. Um, so, welcome to Rooted in Foods and to the Davis's Kitchen. I'm Nikki. And I'm Chili. Still the Davises. We are still the Davises. <laughs> and we're still going to eat. Yep, and drink. And drink. And Cocktail travel. Virtually. Virtually. Yeah. Um, so, where are we going this week? Little, the smallest state in the Union, Rhode Island. <laughs> Rhode Island. So, so, it might be the smallest state in the Union, but it kind of packs the punch where seafood's concerned. Um, yeah, so we were... And chickens. <laughs> chicken so seafood yeah we're gonna stick with the seafood part um but calamari specifically there's mm -hmm. a, a pretty strong um calamari industry in rhode island who would have known i mean who i mean some of the states it's like who would have thunk yeah. um and clams are a big deal mm -hmm. and have been since early 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 on in history um so we're we're focused on on clams and calamari mm -hmm. but in rhode island there are some very specific ways these are prepared. Um, so we'll talk about that as we go. Okay. I'm, I'm frying yeah. bacon for one of the specific ways. Specific ways. Yes. Um, bacon makes everything better, but um, what are we drinking on this fine, lovely, <laughs> still daylight outside it Monday is. evening? <laughs> so we're drinking the Rhode Island red. Speaking of chickens. <laughs> so we're having, I'm going to get out of your way. Did you find glasses? Yeah, I got some glasses. Okay, good. I might need some ice in those glasses, though. So okay. I'm going to put some ice in my shaker. I'll put ice in the glasses. All right. Do you want to use the good tequila first? Yeah, why not? Oh, yeah. Empty it. Yeah. After the after the good a couple of these cocktails with the good tequila, we won't notice the bad tequila. Or the well, no, I mean, it's Jose. Tequila. It's not that bad. Oh. It's just we're not gonna get. college days. Tequila. Although it's Jose Silver, I couldn't afford silver. I didn't buy, I didn't buy any of it in college. Really, I didn't. Oh yeah. But um, I certainly couldn't afford silver back then. Well, we're out of the decent tequila already. Ah, eh, well, we'll survive. Yeah. Are you mixing tequilas? Oh hell yeah! All right, well, I'm not having a weak cocktail. I'm gonna. So we got two ounces of tequila <laughs> in every cocktail. Hmm. Hi, Jennifer. Hey, Jennifer. Yeah, we got plenty of time. Unless one of the unless the kiddo has drank the tequila and replaced it with water. <laughs> I doubt it. I do too. That and tequila doesn't really work that way. That's more of a vodka drink. It's, uh, so yes. also you do Chambord. We have one ounce, so half ounce per cocktail. Chambord is a raspberry liqueur. It's a nice little flavorful thing. And we need some lemon juice, freshly squeezed lemon juice. So we're going to go three quarters of an ounce per cocktail or for two, an ounce and a half. And here we're going to go off, off the map. Freshly squeezed. Oh, huh. yeah. You know, watch that. I'll do it. You, you, I'll, I can handle it. All right, give me about 10 seconds. Okay. Next part is agave nectar, but we don't have agave nectar, so we're using... Honey. Beer ne uh, bee nectar. Bee nectar. Honey and yes. local honey is that. So it's calling for half an ounce per. But agave nectar is considerably thinner than honey. So you... So if you do this, you want to kind of warm it up just enough to get the, it the, the to pour a little bit pour easier. easy. Not to so that's, hot. That's about an ounce for the two of us. And then next one exactly cost us freshly squeezed right out of the bottle. <laughs> hey, I registered for FSI, so I will see you in May. We can have sushi. And one dash of orange bitters per cocktail. Put them in the shaker. I'm patiently waiting for my cocktail. It's Monday. Would you crack that open? The bitters or the, mm -hmm. no, my diet ginger beer. Here. Is that all we, no, we've I got. that's all we have. I've got a cream soda up there. Those are 4204 like, cream sodas. Yeah. Those are not ginger beers. They are not. 
Italian ginger beer is okay. I mean, it's what we were able to find when we bought it. Yep. And then. And it has lasted a really long time. We just want to spritz this up with some ginger beer to make it fizzy. Sprite it. would work. Ginger ale would work. No. What we're now? Not both coming up there. Closest. Oh, no. Sorry. I'm leaving it at home. Um, where's my spoon? I put it up where it belongs. Oh, Lee. Hang on. Right now, I have a 100 pound dog trying to get outside. And then two. She was learning how to open the screen door. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Oh, good deal. She'd stuck her nose in it to try to open it up. Yeah. It's a there nice, pretty pink color. We don't it have is. a garnish tonight. We don't care. Yeah, garnish with a lemon slice. Lemon slice or a lime slice. I yeah. think that's what it is. Yeah. Lemon and lime twists. Ooh, that smells good. Oh, oh, that is good. Wow. That's good stuff. So is there a story behind why this is associated with Rhode Island? Because, you know, tequila and Chambord are not necessarily. No. It it was just it created by name. a bartender in, in Rhode Island. No, I think it was what created I... by a bartender. And then he named it the Rhode Island Red. Why? Maybe he liked the chickens. I have no idea. I don't either, but this is really yeah. good. Yeah. Like, you need to try this one. Yeah. It's wonderful. Cheers. Cheers to us. <laughs> yeah, that, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Another good one. Yep. Try this one for sure. Yeah. The Chambord just really just adds that. It does. Nice adds a really good it. flavor to it. Mm -hmm. All right. So while my bacon continues to pop and fry here. Yeah. Can you guys hear that? I can hear it. I don't know if they can hear I'm it. I'm sure but. they can hear it. So I've got about six slices of bacon in here that I'm rendering the fat out of. Um, it's got a couple minutes to go to get crispy. So as as we are waiting on this to render, we'll remove the crispy bacon and add it back in later. Uh, but we need the fat to get everything else started. Um, unless you just want me to leave the bacon. You can leave the bacon. You don't have to if you don't care about the crispy. So in this pot, we are doing Why not? clam chowder. In there? In the soup oh, pot. Well, then pull some out. Then, okay. I figured you'd put some in with the, the squid. Cal calamari? calamari. Yeah. Well, I can add some to it, yeah. yeah. Um, but Rhode Island does a very different clam chowder. We've done clam chowder on here from a New England mm -hmm. creamy from style um, Boston kind of yeah. milk based chowder. Um, and there's also a red based clam that's chowder. Baltimore. Right. So Maryland. That's what we tend to think of, one or the other. Rhode yeah. Island is clear. There's no right. tomato and there's no cream just, in just, it. Just like North Carolina barbecue. Yeah, clear. Uh, so that's what we're going to build tonight. Now, clams where we live are hard to come by. So we are using canned clams, but here's the deal. Once folks. again, we're using canned clams. Use what you can get your hands on yeah. when you're wanting to kind that's of experiment some, with different cultures. That's some good stuff. Um, this is some I'm gonna make seriously some more of those rendered I bacon know that here. These are these are going to get drank quick tonight. I'm actually going to pull some of this out and finish rendering it over here. Oh, I need some more um, agave nectar. Um, so Chili wants me to add some bacon drippings to the calamari when we fry it. So I'm actually going to finish rendering my bacon in the skillet to do that. Um, and that way we can get everything kind of started for the the chowder. So calamari is different too um, in Rhode Island. And most places when you are getting calamari, it's it's fried um, rings and tentacles of the squid. Now, again, seafood, Midwest, not necessarily a great combination to try to find in the, the market. Um, so I have purchased frozen calamari that I actually need to get out and dump out of the bag so it drains. I forgot to do that. <gasps> so, um, hold please. I'll talk while I make another cocktail. There you go. So, two ounces. So, tell us while I'm doing this, tell us where you're at, what you're having for dinner, what you're drinking for dinner. Yeah, what you're drinking for dinner, because that's important stuff. That's the important part on a Monday night. Yeah. We might run out of tequila tonight. Uh, I know where to get more. I know. 
I mean, I'm not not that I'm complaining that we're going to run out of tequila, but definitely different for us to. Um, so I did have to buy frozen calamari. We just we can't get a lot of different types of seafood fresh. We can get things from the Gulf because um, there's a couple couple seafood shops in the area that Go drive down there and get it back. and bring it back. But beyond that, we're kind of dealing with um, river catfish <laughs> around here. Well, so, which is also fine. a little bit too hard on my lemon juice. Uh oh, that's not good. I don't know if you guys saw that or not, but it's what do you need more honey, you... honey? Yeah, it's in there. Okay, so do you need it to go? I do need it to to start loosening up. See what happens when you freshly squeeze a little too hard. You just it goes it's... all over the damn place. <laughs> Did you? What's the word? Uh, uh, there's a word that calls that talks about squeezing citrus juice in your face. Uh, interruption. <laughs> now, now, be good. Oh, okay. Or bisculate, I think is the word. Or bisculate. I think huh? it's wow. kind of a funky word. So I got my one ounce of bee nectar because agave nectar is a little hard to get. Um. Hey, I like the bee nectar part. Yeah, I mean, I it's not hard. We can get agave nectar pretty easily at the market. It's just I don't have any, and I didn't see the need to run and get some. So We weren't thinking ahead. It's so. dinner. I usually don't think ahead too far. Yeah. You don't have to think ahead. You just think. And then you kind of just figure it out. So after you get that done, Ooh, leftover you Italian in. beef, sweet potato, beets. Costas is making pan seared salmon, oh. broccolini, and spaghetti. And, and goodness gracious, you guys right? are just. Y'all are cooking up a storm tonight. Yeah. Man, I thought we were doing good. Mama Moore's doing beets, sweet potatoes, spinach salad. I think we had that before. We had that last night. She's having leftovers. <laughs> She's having leftovers. She's not cooking. She's got a chicken salad sandwich. I bet you that came from like schnooks. Um, would you switch them over here so I can give them the, the celery tip of the day? So I've got... Jennifer says she's headed over to Costas' house. Right? I don't blame you. No. Um, so I've got some stalks of celery, three that I've actually cut in half, and this bigger one I'm going to cut again down the center to make the cut smaller. Anytime you've got something, and I realize I have green on green here, but anytime you have something that's long like this, you want to cut it in half so you've got no more width than what your hand is. And the, yes, there is math, method to that madness. Because when you stack them up, you've got less chopping to do. Well, you still have the same amount of chopping. Well, you just have to do it less times. Yeah, your knife moves. And then when you get down to this little bitty part, be very careful. Um, now, Rhode Island clam chowder is like chock full of celery, onions, garlic, potatoes, clams, and the bacon. So we're going to um, kind of sweat, not saute, but sweat um, our onions and celery. Once they get cooking, we'll add the garlic. Oh, did I miss Antoinette? I don't know. Is she uh, on? I think maybe. Um, when you saute something, you kind of, you, you're wanting things to turn brown, like onions to turn brown and, and start to caramelize a little bit. I don't see her on here. But... When you are sweating Hi, something, my cousin Antoinette? Uh, I think so. Um, hello, welcome, yeah. and thank you for joining. <laughs> yeah. um, you're wanting to sweat things, you just want them to kind of cook through to a translucent stage if you're dealing with so onions. I'll, I'll show them the pictures. There they yeah. go. Bacon, sweat. <laughs> right, yeah. Hey, who's, um, who's your cousin? Well, how are things out in your neck of the woods? Yeah. I haven't talked to that crew in a bit. Mm -hmm. Um. All right, I've got a bit of a bad spot here on the onion, so I'm going to slice that off. My onions are almost too, a little worse for wear here. So again, we slice the onion in half, keep the root end intact, peel off, slice off a bad part if you need to, and kind of rough chop through. Don't cut all the way through the end like I just did on that slice. 
because when you get through this process, you've got these nice little dices when you cross cut crosswise. Dice, dice, dice. Yeah, and I just kind of try to get as much off this end as I can. But what you'll notice is you get like little thin onions there, like thin skin. And again, we're kind of sweating and Chili's gonna stir. Oh, wow, sweating to the oldies? Sweating to the oh. oldies. All right, stir, stir, stir. Because um, this is only just bacon grease, right? There's nothing that is else only here. bacon grease, yeah. Oh, and you don't man. want to add your garlic immediately because it will burn in a hurry. Mm -hmm. And then you have ruined everything because it will turn bitter and ucky. No, we don't want that. We do not. So we kind of add it after we've got a few ingredients going. Yeah. Chopping block's not quite big enough here. I got you back over there again. All right. So there's our onion I'm going in. So we have a whole onion in here. Yeah, pretty much. One I mean, whole have stalk of one celery. Whole, um, three stalks of celery. Three one, stalks of celery. Yeah, one small onion. Do we use a, a yellow onion, a I, white onion? I am kind of a Vidalia onion. I'm a sweet onion. Vidalia onions come from Vidalia, Georgia. They do. Um, sweet onions are basically the same thing from other places. I just, I like the flavor of sweet onions. You can use yellow onions if you want, but I just, I find them too harsh for my blood. Well, I thought the yellow ones were the sweet ones. Um, no, yellow or oh. yellow. Sweet yeah. onions are yellow also. Yeah. And there's also a white onion and there's That's... a red onion. I knew um, red onions. Like a hundred cloves of garlic here going in. Not really, just five. Just five cloves. Oh man, they've all been smashed in it. Right. Got smart I'll on that one. Stir that up. All right. Let me clean out my garlic press because man, this smells delicious, folks. If you wait to clean out your garlic press after the garlic is dried, it's a lot harder to do. By the way. Oh. And you don't need a garlic press. Ooh. I mean, you can dice garlic just like you dice an onion, but it's so much easier with a garlic press. Well. Antoinette says she's doing great. She's enjoying a little retirement. Yay! Man, time flies. Mercy. I know. I'll be there soon. Hurry it up, dude. Don't wish your life away. I'm not going to wish my life away. All right. So as that's sweating, are you on medium heat? No, we're on low. Yeah, you can turn it, kick it up to kind of... Uh, kick it up. Kicking it up a notch. How about this one over here? Low? Yeah, because it's just kind of hanging out for oh, a minute. It's just hanging out. Yeah. All right. So I have lots of different kinds of potatoes. Taters. Um, these are just little baby reds. These are little um, local um, potatoes that I picked up at Farmer's Market. Whatever you have will, will work fine for this. What about a Yukon Gold? Will be fine for this. Okay. A Russet is fine for this. Right, um, yeah. You want bite-sized pieces? pieces and don't do what I just did. I was about to say, you look Good like... Good lord. Are you getting ready to chop a finger well, off? Well, no, I've got a knot right there that was catching my knife. I noticed it was. It looked like it was getting ready to slice your thumbies off. Everybody said, we've got band-aids and neosporin. Neosporin? Okay. We, we, as have, we have band-aids and neosporin. You'll be fine. So you should be able to quarter your potatoes if you've got small ones and then just kind of chop them into bite-sized pieces there. Do we need more than that in taters-wise? I uh, shouldn't. Okay. Oh, you've got more. Okay. I have more. No, I, I'm not going to just use now. two. I thought you were just using two, and I was like, oh, gracious, no. Like, my goodness, how am I going to eat this with just two taters? Now, the starchier, starchier your potato is, the thicker your your soup broth will be. We want that. Um, oh, we're, we're really starting to. We'll turn it back down a little I'm bit. Turn it back down a little bit, medium low. Or here, you can go ahead and add the. We had seafood stock? Seafood stock in a can, folks. With a box. Um, a, a whole quart uh -oh. is what it you need. Like it's... What? It feels like it's not as full as it needs to be. I'm what? sure it is, but... The, stock? the whole thing? Yeah, the whole thing. All so right. that's a quart of stock going in. That's enough to feed four people. Or 
three plus me. Two plus me. Roughly four people. Yeah, roughly. And we might, depending on how we're doing over there, we might add some water to it later. Yeah, we don't need any water. All right, I'll put it back on medium now. Medium heat. Okay. Uh, mostly you want to make sure you have enough liquid to cover your potatoes. Now, because we're using canned clams. <coughs> we don't have taters in there yet. I know. Okay. So if we need to use a little water, we will. Okay. Um, I'm How's also going to use about half a cup of white wine. Oh, do you want me to put that in there? Sure. Okay. Because anytime I make any kind of chicken seafood stock Wood based Ridge soup. by Charles Mon uh, Robert Mondavi. Not Charles, but Robert um, Mondavi. And it is a dry, it's a Chardonnay. So it is a Chardonnay. if you cook with dry wine, white wine, um, better flavor. If I had put sweet in this, it would have like turned the entire soup sweet. We don't want sweet. Yeah, so use a dry. Use a dry. White. Oh! As a tater. Tater abuse. Yeah, we got a potato on the loose here. Yeah, there'll be a dog in here in a little bit. Too. So I yeah, this is probably four cups, maybe five cups of potatoes going in, chopped. Yep, yep. We're still nice and Yep. So now you can kick that up so it boils. Nice potato. and soupy. It's on medium. You mean medium high? Yeah, because it needs to cook the potatoes. Yeah, medium high. So on medium high, that'd take maybe fifteen minutes to cook out the potatoes. And that tonight, is... we're uh, drinking tequila for you tonight. Oh, we are indeed, ma'am. Yeah. That is all the vegetables that I need. And Let's you guys know see. I clean as I go, so. One shot, two shot, three shot floor. Oh, actually, I'm going to have to chop peppers here in a little bit. Okay, I'm going to pause for a commercial break. Um, yeah, because we're using... Break canned clams these will go in at the last minute uh, otherwise mm. they'll be tough if you're using by some grace of where you live can get hold of um, fresh, fresh What's then that you need there? to cook them first this in the red jar this yeah. those are going in our calamari oh. mm -hmm. some peppers mm -hmm. how's that cocktail it is so good uh, you, uh, do you have more? Refresh. I have a little refresh for you. Okay. Whoops. Pause. Sweet. I got to give you a little bit of ginger beer. So hold on. Tight. I'm holding. All right. I'm getting the bowl out. That's Actually, you know what? Beer. I'm going to show you guys a different trick here. Thank you. Some ginger beer. If you don't have anything specific, oh, I need tall people. Give me a spoon. I got a. I'm over here. What you need? I need my pie plate. Your pie plate? There's out of the way. I'm too short, folks. Yeah, you are. All right. There's a pie plate. Thank you. So in my pie plate, man, you guys can kind of see mm -hmm. that. Calamari, yep. Let me put it underneath something. That's so you can see what it we're eating tonight. Better? Better. Okay. Better. Um, I'm going to put some flour. We're going to bread the calamari. Mm -hmm. First thing we're going to do is not stir my stuff up, please. Would you? What am I stirring? Yeah, that. Um, sorry, I need something to put bacon in. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to remove the bacon that has rendered and has turned crispy. Yeah, because we need to put some of it in the back. We're going to we're going to garnish with it. How's that sound? Um, Mostly, we needed the bacon get it grease. Close to me, I'm going to eat it. Well, don't eat it. Then you won't have any in your soup. Yeah. That just means everybody else won't have any in their soup. Well, that's but true. I will have plenty. Leave it over here. So what's going on with that pie pan? Okay. So in the pie pan, we're going to put our flour. Yeah. A batter station. Uh, I think somebody's been paying attention. I think somebody's paying attention. I'm going to put some oil on top of that bacon grease and get it oh, going. Good night. That's so good. Yeah, we learned that trick with uh, chicken along the way somewhere. What, bacon grease? The bacon grease in with the oil. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That's that's delicious looking right over there. Bam, back over there. So so we are lightly breading calamari. We're not going to do a double or triple dredge with egg wash and all that. We're we going to do anything like with like Andy's or 
not Making tonight. It a little spicier, a little. Do you want me to make? Oof. Well, it has it has spices that go in it. I know. You want me to put some Andes in it? Yeah. Let me find it. Talk while I look. We're gonna we're gonna hey, you know what? This is Rhode Island ish. Anytime you're using with that. Andy's. Look at that fish burning. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, I don't have the red. I got the white right now. Time you're using. This is a family. This, this is this is a Rains family secret. Was this a Davis family secret? No, this was a me family secret. We didn't do this crap at home. <laughs> okay, so what he's asking for is Andy's seasoning, and there's a mm -hmm. yellow corn. Um, cornbread cornmeal seasoning for fish and shrimp yep. there's also a red version that's a little spicier that's what i like is um, i'll add some paprika so we're going to deviate from the traditional here but because we can because we can and that's kind of the point of recipes that's right so i'm going to add some of this to it mm -hmm. yeah now the cornmeal here will also make this really crunchy it'll be really good damn right but yes, be this is, you just learned the Rains family catfish fry secret. Oh, psh. <laughs> That's and I any. keep this in the freezer after I open it too, by the way. It doesn't go bad that way. Nope. You can leave it, keep it forever. For like three years. A hundred years. Fine, yeah. <laughs> um, so you need some Spanish paprika? Yeah. Hand me the paprika. I'll hand you the Spanish paprika. If you want me to write it up for you. I mean, hell, if you want the Lowry's, it'd be even better. Well, no, because I've got... You got your salt I've mix. got salt, pepper, and yeah. onion powder, and garlic yep, powder. Yep, okay. yep, yep. So traditionally, you're looking at flour, garlic powder, salt, pepper. Okay. Davis style. It's right. You're it's using... Our, they're, they're our house, by God. Right. We're Rhode Island meets the Midwest. Yeah. We're using Andy's yellow cornmeal. Red would work fine. Red is the preferred. Uh, red is better. <laughs> so we're adding Always paprika better. to get there. Um, we're adding my seasoning blend that I use on blasted everything. Yep. So salt, white pepper, garlic powder, onion powder is going in also. Look at that. Mm -mm. And this is, um, Spanish paprika. So it's you a little bit to Stir all that up. I've got hands. Yeah, you want a whisk? Mm -mm. I got whisks. And I I'm going to good a good couple teaspoons. Look, look right here. You have a whisk. Okay. Ugh. Now, the the difference in the calamari between what we eat here in the Midwest, you get it with some sort of dipping sauce, right? So it comes out fried. Well, there is. You've got something we to do. You don't dip. need a dipping sauce. No, because here's the deal. Once this comes out, what I do need is um, something to put this on rack-wise when we're done. Um, yes, that will be fine. So they toss it in garlic and um, sweet hot cherry pepper Hell juice yeah. with the peppers and with pepperoncinis, which yes. do you want pepperoncinis or just the cherry peppers? I don't care. Either one. Well, I've got some in there. You'll have to get them for me, though. Yeah, they're over there. We're not messing with it. They can stay over there. Okay. What's that? That's mm -hmm. the calamari. Uh-huh. Okay. They can so, see that now. All I have are the rings. I can't, that's all I could find. I couldn't find the whole shebang. Not, um, not here locally. Trick on, will you um, trick me out over here so I can show them the trick? Over, over here? Yeah. Oh, okay. There we go. Check to see if your oil is hot. You can use a thermometer. We're looking for 350, 75, no higher because you'll burn. Um, this has been well used over the last 20 years. Stick a wooden spoon bottom into it. If it starts to bubble, you are hot enough to go. I didn't see any bubbles. Well, you can't see them, but they're there. Oh, okay. uh, like on camera, you're not going to see them. Well, I didn't. That's what I was looking at. I was looking yeah. at on camera. I was looking to see if you guys All right, saw. So them. now we're going to, and I don't have a lot of calamari here, so we have enough. We have enough for us plus the soup. Speaking of which, is that boiling yet? No. Well, it's starting to maybe get a little bitty, bitty, bitty bit of bubbles, but I'll stir it up and it won't get any bubbles at all. Okay. 
and we're lightly breading. We're not dredging all that kind of stuff because this calamari is wet enough. It's going to stick fine. Um, and you, I mean, some people like heavy breading. If you do, then go for it. <clears throat> Look at that. You got your spider somewhere? Yeah, it's hanging over there. Would you like it? I will want it when we get this out, yes. Okay. This one? Mm-hmm. That's fine. Now, I'm shallow frying in a skillet. You can certainly deep fry. I don't have in enough. Deep fryer? I don't have enough calamari to warrant deep frying. That would have been too much of a oil waster. Yeah. Man, oh man, does that look good? That's good too. Can you guys see that? <laughs> Just as importantly, can you hear that? I don't know. A um, couple minutes on each side here. And if you don't have a fancy chopstick turner like I do. Oh. Use a pair of long wooden chopsticks if you have them. And this does not take long at all. But you want to make sure you flip them over. And I'm doing this with my left hand, and I'm right-handed, so I know you can do this. You missed one. Okay, we'll hear you catch it. This one right here. That. I was watching. Okay. Making sure you did it right. So let's see if they can see the, the calamari station. Yeah, move that big this. old blue bowl out of the way. All right, so we've got everything breaded. Uh huh. Then we'll probably need about three batches here, and this is ready to come out. So. Already. Yep. You sure? Yeah. Okay. And you want to put them on something to drain. And it's okay if they're kind of sitting at the room temperature mark when you eat them. We're going to do, uh, thank you. I don't think we need the spider. Do a, Probably not, no. Do a little bit of a sauce to toss them in. That, again, is garlic and the sliced pepper and the juice from the pepper. All right, I'm going to put you back over to the... So you can see the... Look at that. Oh, we're boiling over here on the soup. That's fine. You let go. Why no? I'm just letting you know we're boiling on the soup. Um, so if you needed to add clams. I will add clams when I know those potatoes are done. Okay. Put another smaller one in here. You don't want to crowd your pan either. Nope. Oh, this one's like on its side. We don't want it oh, on its, on its side. side. Oh, no, you don't. Thank you. Curve, don't be on your side. Open up. After these are fried, we're because we're not making a huge did you turn them or not? No, not well, yet. Okay. Um, it's cocktail hour. We're not making a huge amount. If I were making a bunch, I would soak that oil up and then I would do the garlic and everything in the same pan. I'm not, so I'm gonna switch pans and do that. In a different pan. Does anybody have any questions on what we're doing, how we're making it? If we're still in Rhode Island, or if we've gone a little, uh, <laughs> we've moved a little, little Midwest, little Midwesty South. But I, and and that's the whole, I mean, that's the whole point. Yeah. Um, in the refrigerator. Sure you want to eat while they're watching our clams and not us. I can dig around the refrigerator yeah. and try to not find clams, the calamari. What I say? Clams. Whoops. You know what I meant. These. I need these. We keep very large jars of things like pepperoncini peppers. <laughs> I have no idea why. Because uh, they're cheaper. 
All right, I'm going to flip these guys and try to keep track. Now, try not to overcook because they'll get tough. Well, we don't want that. No. Listen. He's being stubborn. And see, they're just barely, barely have a little bit of a crunch on them. Mm -hmm. That's all you need. You're going to, they're going to soak up this sauce a little bit. And that's okay. They'll still have enough crunch. Yeah. So anybody have any questions, comments, favorite maneuvers, moves of the evening, cocktails? <laughs> I need to check those potatoes, but I'll wait until I get all these out. I have a. You have a gooey hand. I have a gooey hand. I can't use yeah. for anything else yet. Commentary. You can turn it on us so they're not oh, just watching. Well, I mean, well, I, I know, but that's an interesting thing to watch. I know, but we can move back and forth. Bam, there was us. See, there's us. Um. I'm gonna have to make another. I also baked bread yesterday to you to dunk in that mm -hmm. clam chowder because man. Mm -hmm. That was a process. So what are they talking about? Nothing. You're the, <laughs> you're just watching intently They're as watching. I stand here yeah. and wait on the <laughs> calamari. We wait on calamari. Um, but you see how simple this is. If I mean, even if you just buy the frozen hey, and thought, hey Sandy. Um if you're lucky enough to get the whole, you know, piece that you have to clean mm -hmm. and chop, be my guess. But, um, but again, we're working with what we got. That's right. All right. I need some more ice in my. Oh, all right. Before you do that, let me get this. And yummy. Smells good in here. Oops. These are nice big hunks too. They are. Yeah. These are That's, bigger than what you get in the restaurant. Um, That's surprising from where we got them from. Yeah. And it's, I mean, they came from our grocery store, so it wasn't a. Not our grocery, the, the nation's the, big blue grocery right, store. Right. Yeah. That everybody hates to, or loves hates, to hate. Loves to hate or hates to love. I'm not yeah. sure which. Now you can make another drink. I got to make some more cocktails. Sugar came in to say hi. All right, I think I'll get everything else in here now. Now, you can't do a whole lot with the leftover flour mixture because you've had raw seafood in it. I'm going to have to make some more agave nectar. What's behind me over here? I see it. Um, so we'll just discard this at the end. All right, I'm gonna let those go. I'll set this over here. I'll worry about that later. I'm gonna scoot these out of the way somewhere. Small kitchen. It's big enough for us. Coming through. All right, hold on. Ugh. Oh, hey, Pay Kyle. no attention to the man behind the microwave. That's right. So we got that. Hey, let me wash my hands off and then I will. I'll have to get my cousin to send me some stuff for the Southwest. This one might be a little bit more potent than the other ones. Oh, well. Because it's the last of our tequila. Oh, that's the end of the tequila? Yep. Man, okay. We killed two bottles tonight, folks. And keep it up. I'll have to go buy more alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, here. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm going to check the potatoes after I do this for you. Thank so you. again, the reason we're microwaving the honey is to make it thinner and pourable. But you don't want to microwave it to the point that it's hot. Nope. Just thinner. Yep. So it doesn't take long. Uh, because agave nectar, which is what the recipe calls for, oh, is significantly Oh, it's lots of family thinner. recipes. Ooh, yes, yes. please. 
Definitely take from the those. Southwest. Um, I'm going to fork a potato and see how close we are to done here. I gently squeezed that lemon so okay. freshly. Our taters are done. Are they? Mm -hmm. Oh, you got my agave nectar? Yep. Straight out of a bee's ass. <laughs> Sorry. All right, this is our last batch of the calamari. Yep. I have eaten fried calamari in restaurants all over the country. Yep. Some good, some great. Well, she says tonight she's making shrimp cocktail and coconut margaritas. Oh, Ooh. that sounds good. That sounds like a recipe that we need. A coconut margarita. All right, I'm turning the um, heat down to low on the clam chowder. And I'm going to open my two cans of clams. Where's and I'm going to... Dump one in, juice and all, so it has a flavor. The other one I will strain. And the more clams, the merrier. So if you think that your first can is enough, it's not. <laughs> there you go. We're out of ginger beer, too. Well, we're just going to have to replenish then. Mm -hmm. West Roads, here we come. Yep. Watch out, West Rose. It's uh, home away from home. It has been since I was 21. Uh, yeah. It's the internet, honey. You can lie. I can lie on the internet. I, it's good because I just did <laughs> <Yeah>. it. <laughs> All right, do we need to pull those? Um, probably here pretty shortly. Let me. Right. Yeah, they look like they're... Drain these clams. And All right, I'm gonna. Have you already? You can pull them. Already... I flipped them. You can pull them. All right, I'm pulling. All right, can number two. And at this point, all we're wanting to do is heat through. They thought you were 21, but. Oh, they knew better. But that was, you know, 35 almost years ago. No. Not 21. When I was in there was 30 years ago anyway. <laughs> right. Let's just say 30, all right? Don't age Give me more a, than I yeah. am, yeah. Yeah, don't say 35 because that would have been... Yeah, been like I would have been way too young, yeah. 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 Been, no, <clears throat> 30. Ish, my mother's watching this. I did not do that at 16. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Or 17, or 18. or 18, or 19. Definitely not 18. Yeah. Oh, that one's good. Oh, that is so good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's really good. That's going to be really good with crusty bread, too. Um, if oh, you're yeah. serving, you know, people other than your family, don't do what I just did and double dip. This is mine. That's yours. Can I have more ice, please? Oh, yeah. Thank you. All right, so we're leaving this on low enough to heat through, heat those clams through. It's all we care about at this point. Um, we're going to move these. There you go. Thank you. Back here. A little more ice for you. Here you go. Thank you. Um, new pan, lots of pans tonight. Now, again, if I was making a bunch of these, I would have soaked up enough of this oil not to have to switch pans here. Um, but I don't want to yeah. over, yeah. So I am going to use some of the oil. Yeah. I still have the heat on here. On low. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know what? Let's just show that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that. There we go. So we've got a couple scoops of oil. Um, I don't have very much calamari, so I'm going to use about a pat, so about half a tablespoon of butter. You can put that back up, okay. unless you want it for the bread. We're going to let that melt. I'll put this out here for the bread. Yeah, we'll get the other one out for the bread. So we've got 
oil that we fried in. So we've got the flavor from that. We've got a little butter, which will um, honestly counteract the heat from the peppers is what we're going for here. Mama style. I need, rot row, I need more garlic. <gasps> Whoops. I also keep my garlic in the freezer, by the That's way. Right. <laughs> Um, I'm going to put you over there. That's fine. So these are now frozen. <laughs> I thawed oh. the last batch. So they're going to be a little bit harder to squeeze through the garlic press. But um, now you can do garlic and remove it from the oil and just have garlic oil. But why? When you can have the little yummy bits of garlic on your calamari. So mm. this is still on low. Oof. You need some mussels? I might need mussels because it's frozen. All right. Um, so I'm not worried about burning my garlic on low heat. Ooh, there you go. Low heat. Muscles. Right. Next. I am worried about popping frozen garlic, however. Next. And garlic to taste, by the way. Next. Um... You can kind of see that. Just use the wooden spoon. So if you don't like a lot of garlic, back off. If you like more, add more. All right, so now we're going to add about a tablespoon of the cherry pepper juice. Or if you don't have the cherry peppers, the pepperoncini pepper juice is fine too. Um, but you're wanting the hot pepper juice here. Just kind of the point. Dracula or whoever the hell else is staying the hell away from us tonight. Yeah. Woo. I love these stinking things, so. And if you don't like pepperoncinis, don't use them. You know, use whichever of these that you like. But the point is you're getting that tangy from the pepper and um, oh my God. spice. Get out of, oh, you're in the bacon. Get out of the bacon. No. Oh, you're in the not. calamari. Yeah, I'm in the calamari. Get out of the calamari. Mm. All right, so we're going to slice some rings up. Not worried about doing anything other than heating, whoops, this through. No. Pierce your peppers, by the way, before you cut into them. Because they pee all over the place. <laughs> yeah, they squirt. Mm. Not in a good way. Oh, okay. Not in that kind of way. Chili Davis. And again, I don't have a lot of calamari, so I don't mean a lot here. Oh, those are good. Um, Marzetti does a mild chili pepper, cherry pepper, and a hot cherry pepper. So again, get whichever one you're comfortable with here. But you're kind of after a little heat and the tang from the pepper. So I'm throwing seeds and all in. Yes, please do. Just no stems. No, no stems. Oh, you got one on the back side of your knife. Ah! <laughs> we'll clean that mess up later. You almost made another one because you. Right? It's really close. All right, so you can put it back over here if you want. So, again, we're just heating this up. Garlic. Peppers. Mm. Now, that smells so good. My garlic has reacted to the acid. Mm -hmm. And you can kind of see it's where I'm bit. puffy and a little blue. That's okay. That's good. All right. So, what are we doing? This is done. Oh, that looks so good. Um, if you will get me a, um, how many drinks have I had? I need a glass bowl from up here. <laughs> Tall person. That little one is fine. One glass bowl. This is where you kind of feel like Julia Child a little bit. Uh, By the way, has anybody been watching the Julia Child on HBO? The new TV show? 
I haven't managed to catch they're, it yet. They're so. back to us now. Wondering how it is. Okay. So we're going to oh, toss cow. our calamari and a little bit of that, and then I'll serve the rest hey, on the side. <laughs> I might have needed a bigger bowl. I didn't realize quite how much there was in here. Oh, there's plenty. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, no, gonna need a bigger bowl here. Nah. Yeah. Bigger bowl to toss in, then we'll plate it in that one. How's that? Okay. It's got stuff on the side. Well, because, you know. <laughs> right, bring you over there so they can see you toss. Calamari. Oh, man, my light burned out again. It just ran out of juice. It, yeah, I, I forgot to charge it. Okay, I'm going to pour this down the side because just because that's what I do when I'm tossing things. I don't know. So you don't like splat it all over the place. I do the same thing with salad dressing. That smells so good. I'm going to use my tongs to toss this. So you could plate this on a platter, ignore the blue garlic. That's so funny. It turned blue. Um, it is going to soak up so that breading is not going to be, you know, as crunchy. It's okay. It's still going to be good. But those is running from the peppers. Save some of those pretty peppers for the top. Make sure you get all the garlic. <laughs> All the garlic. Okay. There we go. Thank you. And um, what kind of bowls do you want for the big chowder? Oh. We'll use Get these those, big yeah. chowder bowls. Just Pretty two colors. of us. Uh, no, I'll scoop some out for Phoebes. Had plenty of broth in there. Mm -hmm. Got it? I'll get some up for Phoebe when she comes out. That way it stays warm. We're going to garnish. If I had some chives left, I cut down on my herbs because I'm making room for tomatoes. I would put some chives in this, but we'll put a little bacon on top. Perfect. Bacon on top of that one. I can't see that one. Well, we're not done. Oh. Because. We have bread. I have bread I need to cut up here real fast. You got your bread knife anywhere? In there, but I'll use this one. It's fine. Um, yeah, this is, this is fine. So homemade Italian bread, but any kind of crusty bread will be fine. You don't have to make it from scratch. I just like to bake bread. So there we go. Calamari. Sorry, mm -hmm. that looked like it kind of pixelated. Um, Rhode Island style meets the Midwest. Clear. Clam chowder. Clam chowder. Bacon garnish. If you've got something green, go for it. Chives. Yeah. Um, homemade bread. A little wild onion would be all right. Mm hmm. Especially right now. Yeah. Um, I'm dying to eat this calamari, though. Me too. Bring that sucker over here. We gotta get a big old spoon. Ooh, that's hot. Here you go. Thank you. All right. So, clam chowder, Rhode Island style, calamari. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> of Rhode Island style. It's still Rhode Island style calamari. But the soup goes together easy, and it goes together fast. You just have to wait for the potatoes to boil to cook. Mm -hmm. Maybe a touch more salt, but yeah, beyond that, it's a little bit more salt, not that much. It's all right. Yeah, 
Okay. I'm just using fingers. Well, I want some of that pepper. Well, I got some. Okay, go for it. <clears throat> oh my. Yep. Mm. I'm making calamari this way mm. forever. It's so good. Mm -hmm. And the rings are the best part of calamari anyway. I like the tentacles. No, I like the rings. But not everybody does. Well, that makes us perfect, right? Yeah, you yeah. eat the rings, I eat the tentacles. Mm -hmm. But that way with on with asparagus too. Yep. Phoebe likes the end of the asparagus. I like the tips of the asparagus. I like the tips. This is good. Oh. Yep. Mm. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I amaze myself. All right. So we're in 55 minutes. We made dinner. We've had 14 drinks. No, not that many. No, and we, the soup comes together fast at about 20, maybe 30 minutes tops if you have to prep everything. Um, calamari comes together quick. Perfect meal. Mm -hmm. That's a really good tequila cocktail. That is a really, right? Mm -hmm. and, and if you don't like tequila, try it because mm -hmm. it you can't really taste the tequila. No, the uh, Chambord just... Mellows it in a big way. Mm -hmm. That's a good combination. Beats the hell out of it. Uh, get your fingers out of my bacon. <laughs> there were three pieces that were <sighs> stuck together. Tell you what. I um, didn't want you to over bacon, Nate. A little cracked black pepper mm -hmm. and all of this mm -hmm. will be great. I'll do that before we eat. Mm -hmm. Man, guys, this is good. Now, I will say, and, and some of you know me well enough that you know how I cook. I've made clam chowder before many different ways. I've fried calamari before, not frequently. We don't eat it a lot on the mm -hmm. home front, but I've done it. I've never mm -hmm. done this. This was like the first night I did this. Um, this I kind of built as we went a little bit and mm -hmm. deviated a bit from the traditional Rhode Island recipe. But um, so a lot of the things as we're traveling, <laughs> you should see his face, look at his face. As we're traveling, these are things that I've never cooked before. All right. So if I can do this and on live with y'all watching, mm -hmm. you can do this. And, you know, I'm making these cocktails. Never. Most of these we've never had before, yeah, too. Mostly, yeah, like Every this, now and then one we've had. This but. one here, I've never had this before. It's good. We'll have it again, however, yeah. because it's very good. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. So that is all. An hour and counting. Where are we going next week? And, and we will be here next week. Oh, Vermont. Vermont. So here's my question to you. Vermont has a couple of different things, most notably cheese and syrup. Yep. So would you rather have breakfast? Breakfast. Or would you rather have dinner? Oh, <laughs> caught it. Oh, 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 oh. That's right. The fat man catches the bacon, by God. Okay, so back to my question. Would you rather have breakfast or would you rather have dinner? That's right. I'll let you guys decide what There's we do no next week. There's no abuse of bacon in this household. No. Man, I might have to chop up some more peppers. Yeah. Because well, that's like the, that's a good combination. It is. It's a very good combination. So let us know. Add it in the forward. comments when we go off. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll look at them. We'll let you guys know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm thinking bacon. And breakfast because you know syrup syrup maple syrup i can create some whiz bang waffle to put maple Z syrup exactly. on exactly waffles maybe even some chicken to go with them well, that's a very kid. southern thing but the kids have been dying for chicken and waffles so dying for it um all right folks there you have it thank you for joining us thank you for watching yeah. us chow down at the end of the show yeah um make make this for yourself and it's, it's worth trying let me tell you yeah um, you might have to, you know, rewatch to catch the recipe. Eventually, I will get recipes posted, but yeah. Lord only knows when after the school year is over. Um, so yeah, we'll see you next week and enjoy your week. We'll see. But maybe you. like a cookbook. Well, yeah, I mean, cookbooks kind of in the in the works, but it takes time, and I might need recipe testers. Hint, yeah. hint, yeah. hint, hint, hint. Yeah, those of you that watch all the time, right? Might get to test recipes. All right, we're out. I'm gonna go get the kid eat dinner. Good night, everybody. Good night. Thanks for joining us.